anxiety. I have your attention. The word. It grabs us. Anxiety. It makes us take note. We listen. And it's what we're going to deal with today from John's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 1 through 7. It's a very familiar passage of, of Scripture. We learned it in Sunday school. We've probably heard it many, many, many times throughout the lectionary cycle. A lot of sermons on it. Don't let your hearts be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me, Jesus says. In my Father's house are many rooms, dwelling places. I'm going to prepare a place for you. And I will call you to me so that where I am there, you can be with me. Wonderful passage of hope when Jesus knew that his death was imminent. He comforted his disciples with these words, Do not worry about tomorrow. I'll take care of you. What I love about this passage is how broad this word, mansion, room, space, can actually be. It's, it's really a message that Jesus was giving them saying, I have created a space for you in my peace. The peace of God, he says, that is where there's space created for you to be. And don't let your hearts be troubled because I have created, he says, a safe spot for your heart, for your soul, for your psyche, for your mind, for your relationships. There's a safe place in Christ. So are we afraid today? Yes. Are we anxious today? Yes. Are we fearful today? I am. But do I know that God has space for me? Yes. I know that God has space for that anxiety that's in my heart. I know that God has space for the fear that I feel. God can hold all of my feelings and my emotions. That sounds like a mansion to me. Be blessed.